Yeah, well, let's go into that a little bit more. You're looking ahead to this address tonight. I'm just going to play you a clip from your colleague, Congressman Steve King of Iowa, what he had to say this morning. Have a listen. The president will give a speech that's designed to divide Republicans against each other and unify Democrats against Republicans. Minimum wage, extend unemployment benefits, and, and a comprehensive immigration reform speech. All of that, those are the three items that I can think of that unify Democrats and divide Republicans. It is clear political strategy. Just quickly, you know, this new poll finds 81% of Americans have an unfavorable view of Congress, as you just sort of pointed to. Um, so if Congress points the finger at President, at least the Republicans do. The President talks about the divisions in Congress. And, you know, in a candid way here, you know, we're going to hear a host of suggestions tonight, but practically speaking, um, is there going to be a way for him in year number two of his second term to get any of them done? Well, the Congress should listen to the American people. The American people, by a wide majority, 70 to 80 percent, support extending unemployment benefits, support increasing the minimum wage. Right. This isn't something that should divide this country. This is something that should unite it. And I would agree with the American people. I don't like what's going on in Congress, and I understand why they are sick and tired of this bickering going on. Yeah. Let's find ways to create jobs in this country. Let's find ways to make it better for every American. Right. Well, you brought up a couple of themes. Obviously, income inequality is going to be a big deal. You talked about uh, the unemployment benefits, and we've already seen what incrementally the president can do on his own when it comes to minimum wage. Do you, do, is there something he can do without Congress when it comes to unemployment benefits? There is an extent to which he can uh, fix the minimum wage for federal contractors. Right, that's what he not proposed the minimum wage today. For everyone else. Right, but so I'm talking about in the in terms of the unemployment benefits as a separate issue. Can he do anything with that without going through your body? That's actually a good question. I believe he would need congressional action in order to extend those benefits. And we do have a bill in the Senate that is primed to be passed, should be passed, should come over to the House and take action. We should not have three million Americans out of work and unemployed uh, come the middle of this year.